Larsa Pippen, an original star on The Real Housewives of Miami and ex-wife of NBA Hall of Famer Scotty Pippen, has been trying to sell her $12 million Florida estate. The amenity-filled mansion is super luxurious as you might expect and word is that she's also offering to throw in her car collection which is worth over $1 million on its own. While it said Lars has been staying in Los Angeles and house hunting these days, she still hasn't found a keeper. Today we'll take a look at her impressive Florida mansion and all of the crazy goodies inside. We even found the listing. In these videos we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Larsa Pippen, born Larsa Yunin in Chicago, Illinois, rose to fame for being the wife of NBA All-Star and Hall of Famer Scottie Pippen. She and the basketball player wed in 1997 and soon welcomed son Scottie Jr. along with three more children, Preston, Justin and Sophia. After nearly 20 years of marriage, the couple announced their split back in 2016. Aside from being the ex-wife of Scottie, Larsa also made a name for herself on reality TV as she was one of the original cast members of the short-lived series The Real Housewives of Miami. Larsa hasn't always been a fan favorite, but she's still making bank post-divorce. It was reported she signed a close to six-figure social media deal with brand Pretty Little Thing, which I'm sure is only one of many, and she has her own jewelry line and fitness brand where she offers workout videos, recipes, and lifestyle coaching for a monthly fee. At the time of this recording, Larsa's net worth is at an estimated $10 million. Some say the ex-wife of Scotty Pippen belongs to the streets, but in reality, she lives a pretty upscale lifestyle. Hey everyone, I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer and I'm bringing you another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. This one, checking out the Florida mansion of Larsa Pippen. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and ring that bell for notifications because we post brand new content daily. As always, you can follow me on Instagram and let me know who you want to see next on this channel. Now let's get into this video. February 2021, it was reported that Larsa was trying to unload her mega-sized mansion in Florida. Again, yes, you heard that right. After coming on and off the market for years, her swanky home in Fort Lauderdale is back with a price tag of $12 million. This time, to add some incentive for potential buyers, Larsa is even throwing in her car collection, which is valued at around $1.5 million. She owns the home with ex-husband Scotty, and in the past, the NBA legend tried to sell the waterfront home, which the former couple built from the ground. Up. The Pippins paid $1.3 million for the empty lot in 2000 and created a highly customized and sprawling mega mansion in 2004. It first popped up on the market way back in 2009 with a steep price of $16 million, but there weren't any takers at the time. Located in Harbor Beach, Lars's mansion is in one of the most exclusive gated communities in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. The Italian inspired property boasts a resort like vibe, and inside stands nearly 13,500 square feet of space. The home sits on 0.7 acres of land, not to mention with 215 feet of water frontage on the intracoastal waterway. The property is also a boater's paradise with a wide canal that accommodates mega yachts, but unfortunately Larsa isn't throwing in one of those with the home sale. Inside there are six beds and seven baths throughout, as well as an elevator in case you get tired walking around the sprawling residence. Walking in the villa, there are plenty of pillars, archways and high ceilings, high enough to accommodate Larsa his basketball playing ex-husband. Formal living and dining spaces are glamorous and perfect to entertain. One living room with a piano, stone fireplace, and wet bar. The luxury kitchen has both bar style seating and additional seating at the center island, while the space is decked out in marble and lots of white cabinetry. Lars's Florida mansion had not one but two formal dining rooms, one featuring a glass table and the other made of wood. Both boasted ornate chandeliers overhead. Nearby, there was another family room with beamed ceilings and easy access out to the pool and patio. I gotta say, looking at this long list of beautifully decorated rooms in the mansion, this is one Instagram worthy home. You can bet Lars has taken plenty of selfies and photo shoots in here. Florida ceiling front doors and windows flood the common spaces with plenty of Florida sunshine, but you can also entertain guests with features like a 450 bottle chilled wine room and a games room with wet bar. If that's not enough, the Pippin Mansion had a top of the line home theater 
with a classic design. Now, I for one wouldn't have guessed this, but Larsa said her favorite room in the estate was the gym, which was created by the Chicago Bulls basketball team. Honestly though, that's quite the selling point, not to mention there was a full-sized NBA basketball court at the residence too. Now, you really know Scottie Pippen once lived here. Outside, Larsa's fancy home boasts everything you would find at a five-star resort, including a swimming pool with water slide, fountains, a spa, and elsewhere, a commercial grade summer kitchen. Not to mention there were numerous balconies and shaded terraces to soak up the surroundings. Larsa has been putting in serious effort to sell the mansion, now even throwing in her cars with the sale. Her whips are all 2020 models worth a combined $1.5 million or so and include a Porsche 911 GTU RS, a Mercedes G63 AMG or G Wagon, and a Ferrari 488 Pista. Whoever buys the estate will also get membership at the Tony Harbor Beach Surf Club, a private 300 foot beach with its own marina. In a new incentive for buyers, Larsa has even filmed a video tour of the posh estate and hired Nest Seekers International to revamp the marketing strategy. One big reason she's pushing so hard is because the South Florida real estate market is hotter than ever right now. It's been said that the frenzy in the Sunshine State's luxury home market is fueled by a surge of buyers from the Northeast, California, and Midwest who want to take advantage of Florida's favorable climate and lack of state income tax. While everyone's moving to Florida and while Larsa tries to sell that Florida mansion, it appears she still helps hunting for a permanent residence on the west coast. Sources say she's been living in Los Angeles for quite some time now with her kids, but she's likely renting. Just last month, according to Lars's Instagram, she was still house hunting, and she even appeared on the popular reality show Selling Sunset in the past, checking out some lavish mansions for sale. We do know, at the end of last year, the home Larsa was living in in LA was robbed and she was allegedly being stalked, but since that's cooled off, she's returned to California. I guess we'll have to see what home she settles on purchase. Not to mention with rumors of Larsa reviving her former role as a Real Housewife of Miami star, maybe she'll also need to purchase a new property there too. Alright, so that brings us to the end of our Larsa Pippin house tour. What did you guys think about that mega Fort Lauderdale mansion? Do you think she'll finally get a sale now after throwing in her luxury cars with the house? Also out of all the custom features in her home, which would you pick to have? The pool, the dock, or how about the Envy level home gym? I think the resort style pool was my favorite feature as it had everything from fountains to a spa and even a water slide. I've also been reading all your comments on the channel and I'm gonna be shouting you guys out. These are from our Teresa Gudice house tour video. Matina Huhu said, I'm so happy for her, she likes to dream big and live in a heavenly life. She deserves this and much more. Her mindset is ambitious. I agree with you. And Chris Liams wrote, I am so very happy for Teresa. She really has gone through a lot with supposedly best friends and they just used her wanting in her business. I'm very proud of her accomplishment, missed out on her mom while away, and of course her so-called friends again stabbed her in the back. She has done a great job raising her girls. Nothing but the best for you, Teresa. I am loving all the fans commenting on Teresa's house tour and all the positive feedback. It's so true and so nice to hear. If you guys want me to shout out your comments, be sure to tell me what you thought about Lars's homes. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!